I went with my uncle to his doctor's appointment. At the doctor's appointment, the doctor explained, you'll likely pass away in the next three to six months. He said, well, you know, why don't we try to sequence his tumor to see if maybe there's some susceptibilities to existing drugs that maybe could be used for his cancer. But why don't we stain for PDL one which is a marker of maybe response to PD-1 inhibition? And the doctor sort of looked at me, puzzled, and was like, you know, medicine can't just sarcoma, nothing, nothing works for it. And um, it's incredibly unlikely that a that that genetic sequencing of the tumor would actually be meaningful and give you any information that could be helpful. So I'm not going to do either of these tests. And um, just given my own experience and the fact that I'm literally alive because of a repurposed drug, I um, ended up finding another doctor to run the tests. Um, and it turned out that um, the tumor came back really positive for pdl one expression. There were no genetic mutations. Um, and as a result of that uh, tumor coming back positive for PDL1, um, we started my uncle as the first patient ever uh, with angiosarcoma to be treated with a PD1 inhibitor pembrolizumab. He's now crossed nine years that he's been in remission wow. on this drug. He's actually, he walked his son down the aisle last September. He's walking his daughter down the aisle this September. 